What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We have just started the investigation. The first day for, uh, what is it? The DLC case, which takes t place between case two and three. Here we go. We're talking, we're at the Ship Shape Aquarium, talking with, uh, Sasha about Orca. Oh my god, it's tongue twister. Orla the Orca, who's the, um, the defendant and an Orca. That's right, we base them on facts. Take a look at this. Mm, look at those doubloons. A photo of the victim, huh? He's got a wound on his head. Very perceptive. The victim and the orca were the only ones here. What's more, we couldn't find a weapon of any kind around. Photo of the body added to the court record. A crime scene photo taken in the orca pool room. It's hard to make out the details of the body, okay? So what's the theory on how Orla supposedly killed the victim? Dun, 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 dun. They say orcas sometimes kill their prey by ramming into them underwater. We believe this orca did just that by pulling the victim into this 65 foot pool and then ramming him while they were in the water. That's scary as hell. That's why the ocean's so damn scary. You keep going down, it becomes pitch black. Mariana Trench? We've only discovered like top 5% of it. Okay, what the hell's at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? It's scary! Hmm, without any suspects behind bleh, outside Zorla, this could be one tough case. Orca pool diagram added to the court record. A cross-section view of the first and second floor sections of the orca pool. The pool is about 65 feet deep. No official autopsy has been ordered, but an orca attack makes sense. Why hasn't one been ordered? Accidental death due to a failure to exercise proper oversight over an animal. The medical examiner said it wasn't a homicide, so we don't need an autopsy. So Orla's gonna be put down without a proper investigation? That isn't fair! That's nothing short of police negligence, Detective Fulbright! The incident wasn't determined to homicide, so there's nothing we can do, Miss Sykes. Ordinarily, the owner of the aquarium would be held responsible for the oversight failure. But the owner is the victim himself, so all we can do is hold the orca responsible. Phoenix, isn't there anything you can do? They're gonna put Orla down! Sasha and Orla are depending on me. I want to do everything I can to help them. But how do I help an orca? Wait. Yes, I can do this. <laughs> um, I guess it's uh one of these two, right? Guess it doesn't really matter. I'll defend Orla in court. Or I'll find the real killer. That's a much smarter answer. Can you imagine or an orca sitting on uh in a huge tank in the courtroom? <coughs> Sorry, as you can remember, I'm still sick. It's, it's pretty bad. <sighs> I'll find the real killer! Oh, thank you, Phoenix, and I'll do everything I can to help you. Wait just one moment. You're not a police officer or a prosecutor. You're not even officially the defendant's lawyer. You have no right to investigate. I'm not officially Orla's lawyer, huh? In that case, I know exactly what I have to do. Yes, I can do this. Um, defend Orla in court. I got my badge back now, so I know exactly what I have to do. Wow, it really was that option. Okay. I'll defend Orla in court. Huh? Even an orca deserves a fair trial. If the one responsible for Orla is dead, then I'll take responsibility for her. Yo, what? I guess doing crazy things just once in your career wasn't enough, huh? But what the heck? I'll take responsibility for her, too. Are you too insane? Insane? This is a case of accidental death caused by an animal. It's not a murder case. With no evidence of foul play, this case will never go to court. Then let us investigate the crime scene. If we can prove this was a murder, we might be able to take it to trial. And then Orla would certainly need the help of a few good lawyers. Hmm, I guess so. But who's ever heard of a trial for a killer whale? Just because it's never been done before doesn't mean we can't do it now. But... Hmm... Whoa, my headphones are getting a really weird static. What is that from? Whoa. Okay, that was really weird. It's like my brain was getting hacked. Okay. Hmm... Please, Detective Fulbright, you're for justice's sake. The police have determined that an animal that has harmed a human should be put down. But I don't know for sure whether that was a just decision. If your sense of justice compels you to take on the defense of this animal... 
Look at those beautiful teeth. Then my sense of justice tells me to let this case be re-examined for possible merit. You mean it? Really? That's fantastic! You're not such a bad guy after all, Detective Fulbright. Just remember, kids, this case hasn't been officially recognized as a homicide yet. I'll get in touch with the prosecutor's office, but I'm not making any promises. Anyway, I'd better be off. I'm guessing they're gonna get Black Quill back on this. You two are our lifeboat! I'll be right here if you need me. Thanks. I've got a feeling we'll really need your help with this investigation. We're still not sure if it'll go to trial, but as Orla's lawyers, we'll do everything we can. To get this case into court, we'll need a prosecutor to make an in indictment. So we have to find enough evidence to prove it's a criminal case. There just has to be something that shows the culprit was somebody other than Orla. Hmm, Detective Fulbright said there were no weapons in the area other than her. So we'd better look for something to prove him wrong. I better make a note of that so I don't forget. You sure are organized, boss. Maybe I should get a notebook of my own. I just like to jot down notes on the case in the court record as I go along. We can use it as a sort of to-do list. Great idea! I'll add things too. And whenever we're stuck, we can just refer to the notes. To read the notes, just yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, we already, we've done this before. Now let's investigate this crime scene. There has to be some evidence here we can use in court. Examining the crime scene from every angle is the key here. That's right! If we can change our perspective, we might come across new evidence. To change perspective, I can touch the arrows on the bottom screen or use the D-pad. Or if there's a particular spot that's got your attention, get right up to it and look away. Like that outline of the body in the far right there. What outline? I don't see an outline. Oh, that's really far. Is that an outline? Huh. Of course, talking to everybody involved is one of the keys to good investigation. Exactly, and if we present items to people, we might learn even more. Right, it all boils down to thorough legwork. Well, let's get started. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Oh, we've already said, okay. Let's examine then. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Is that show makeup above Orla's eye? The star, you mean? That's right, it's a starfish. Kind of makes her look like a punk rockin' pirate, don't you think? A punk rock pirate killer whale. <sighs> it's official. Society's on the road to ruin. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Well, I think Orla is one hot rockfish. Hot. Speaking of rockin', how do you get Orla to do what you want during the show? I give her signals with this whistle. That was adorable. That is also adorable. Badum, badum. Oh, but I didn't hear anything just now. It's high frequency, you big dope. The sound's out of range of human hearing, just like a dog whistle. Orcas have better hearing than people do. They can even hear the whistle underwater. That's so cool! I wish I could give commands to Orla. Anybody can do that. All they'd have to do is learn the signals. Here, Athena, you can have one of our whistles. Consider it a present. Whistle add to the court record. A whistle for issuing instructions to Orla. Anyone can use one to command her, as long as they know the right signals. Ooh, that's vital. That's a vital clue. Gee, thanks! But, um... As for the actual commands, I'm afraid I can't teach them to you. They're top secret. Let's see what else we got. Um, what, yeah, oh. What's this? What's, what's this? It's too far away to good look. I better get a little closer first. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's the outline. What a mess! What's all this stuff knocked over when the victims struggle with this killer? You are missing a D. It's possible, but it would be hard to prove. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Hmm, indeed. There are weapons right there! Look at those swords! Are you kidding me? Ugh. So this is where the body was found, huh? If they suspect Orla, maybe they found some evidence of an attack of the vic on the victim. Whoops. Orla didn't attack the captain. She loved him. The captain rescued Orla when she was little, after she got beached on the shore. He tried to release her into the ocean, but she kept coming back. I can tell Orla's sad about losing the captain. She's just not her usual chipper self. Orla must really love this aquarium and the captain. 
She's the only one around here big and strong enough to play with the big tough captain. Every day she made a point of headbutting him and stealing his hat. Yikes, I guess you weren't kidding when you said the captain was a really strong guy. Oh, these aren't weapons. Look at all this stuff scattered everywhere. I see some swords. I wonder if they have anything to do with the case. They're made of rubber. I doubt they could be used as a weapon. Ah. But I still bet if someone got whap whapped with one, it would still st it would sting quite a bit. Yeah, I guess it would. But I think I could stand the pain. Yeah? Good for you. Cool story. Oh, look. There's a blow-up dolphin and an anchor, too. Wait, where? Mr. Wright, are you even listening to me? Stop looking at those toys. Yikes! Guess I've been caught red-faced. Oh, yeah, these things. Okay. What about... What about... It's gotta be something else here. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's... Let's go back. And look at this cannon. Hey, there's a cannon in the shape of a shark. I'd love to try firing that thing. Boom! Are these cannonballs supposed to look like fish eggs or something? Like dragon balls. Hmm, but why fish eggs? Why not baby sharks? Think about how crazy it would be to have sharks go flying through the air. Watch the thrilling life or death struggle as the little tykes fight to stay alive out of water. You are sick. You are sick. I can see it now. The drama. The mayhem. The whirlwind of teeth. Dead babies and blood everywhere. That's what, that's what I'm hearing right now. That's what happens when, uh... I mean, you remember her flashback in the blood. Straight up, she's just like Dexter. A tornado of sharks, not even Hollywood could conjure up something that insane. Sure they could. Sh Sharknado, that exists. I've never seen it myself, but that exists. A setting sun. Sunsets always remind me how quickly the day goes by. Oh, boss, it's just a painted backdrop, you know. Down, Athena, of course I know. I guess they use it for the swashbuckler spectacular. It looks handmade. Ooh, I just got an idea. Why don't we make our own not guilty backdrop? And present it to the judge when things aren't going our way. No, we put psychological pressure on the judge by hanging it behind the defendant. I almost want to see how the judge would respond to that. Okay. What else have we got? We got a hoop. There's a piece of meat and a plastic hoop suspended from the ceiling. Talk about a clashy decor. I guess Orla really likes meat. Who knew they fed her such large chunks, though? Uh, all orcas are carnivores. You knew that, right? Of course, silly. And I love meat, too. Protein is your body's basic building block, after all. But that meat is made out of rubber. I doubt Orla could really eat it even if she wanted to. You mean to tell me she jumps all the way up there and doesn't get a reward? The poor girl. After all that effort. I don't think Orla is as dumb as you think she is. And, ooh, look at this, Wilson. We got Wilson over here. Oh, look, there's a ball in the water. Is that another prop for the show? That's one of Orla's toys. She plays volleyball with it. It's usually in the bin. Guess I must have forgotten to put it away yesterday. Suspicious. Well, I wish I could play volleyball with Orla. You have as much fight in you as mean old lobster. I like it. There ain't many people who want to be on the receiving end of Orla's fastball. Her fastball? Yeah, she likes to be naughty and slam the ball into things around the pool. You should hear the sound that ball makes when it crashes into stuff. Oh, well, maybe some other time. She suddenly went from fighting lobster to reluctant hermit crab. What else do we... We can see Orla again? Orla's not going to notice me from here. I better move around to the front. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's see, we got the door... The doors are slightly open, and there are police officers standing guard outside. I guess they're watching to make sure we don't try any funny business. Well, now that you've said it, I suddenly feel the urge to do something. How about if I suddenly break out some squat exercises? That would be pretty funny. Yeah, that might cause a few raised eyebrows in the ways you don't want, Athena. That's a stupid idea. That is so stupid. Hmm. Oh! <clears throat> It doesn't look like the ladder goes all the way down to the bottom of the pool. But there's usually water in the pool, so it doesn't need to. So apparently the pool spans two whole floors. 
ordinarily visitors only get to see what they can from the first floor. But they said on TV that they sometimes give behind the scene tours. Sounds like that swashbuckler spectacular show you recorded is really coming in handy. There's gotta be, that's gotta be, oh, nope, not done yet, I guess. Hey, look, there's an apparatus here to hang from. I don't think it's for people to hang from. It looks more like a crane to move things with. <clears throat> but Sasha was hanging from it during the swashbuckler spectacular. I bet there are all kinds of ways to use it, not just to move things. Come on, boss, try thinking outside the box. Outside the bun. Is she trying to say I have a narrow-minded view of things? Hmm, that looks like everything. Let's go right. Oh, we got a lot of stuff to look at, okay. We got a button, we got hats, let's look at the hats. Or not, okay. Hmm, okay, let's look at the, the switch. Looks like the control panel for that crane apparatus. There sure are a lot of buttons. When I see this many buttons, I start to get fidgety. I know what you mean. You start itching to push them, right? Nah, I start itching to make a psychological study at people who want to push buttons. It's so weird. Need I remind you that I'm at your boss, not your guinea pig? Man, nothing's been added to the court record lately. And we're... There's nothing here to look at anymore. Right? Just being doubly sure. Okay, let's go one more right. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, let's uh, let's move on to another room. Unless she has something to say. Nope, okay. Oh wait, do I have something to present? <coughs> oh God. I could present the photo of the body. Okay, yeah, uh, nothing. She has nothing to say about it. Stop, stop. Stop! Okay. Let's move. The Aqua Turtle? Okay. What you got to say? What to do? We have to find some evidence that shows the culprit wasn't Orla. You're really fired up for this, aren't you? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Did we, oh, did we never ex actually examine the um, the out outline of the body? Oh shoot! Hold on. Let's go back after this. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Um, because usually this is a bad sign when you're asking any ideas. Let's check out the scene. I'm glad to see your enthusiasm, but if you run like that, you're gonna fall. Oh! Wow, she did it. Okay, yeah. They literally just said, "Let's go back to the scene." Okay, let's go back then. Damn, that sucks. Okay. Actually, I'm, I'm curious what the log would say. Let's check the notes. Murder weapon, search this crime scene, okay? Mm, yep. Ugh. Go right. Wait, no, wait. Yeah, that's right. No, but we did look at it. I don't... Okay, we'll zoom in here. Yeah, yeah. Did we miss something? No, we saw everything. What am I missing? Oh, I don't know. We must be missing something. Where's the murder weapon? What is the murder weapon? Boom, boom. Hmm. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go back. Uh, yeah, back. <clears throat> okay. What is it? What do we, uh... Oh, there's something. Is that what we were missing? What does this have to do with anything? Look at that huge octopus! That must be a show prop too. One of its legs is missing though. Wouldn't it be exciting to take on a huge enemy like that? I like to give it a, a try myself, as a lawyer that is. You know you have an insufficient number of limbs to out-object it, right? Oh! I guess that's about it. Oh, that, okay, so we were just missing one thing. Under different circumstances, I would have loved to see Swashbuckler Spectacular. And that's just about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna end this video here. Let me just get a sip of juice. Hold on a minute. Oh, my throat is sore. All right. So, I'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!
Where'd he go? Oh. Howdy, buddy. Whoa. Yes, it is a lock. Oh, that's clever placement right there. That's a tricky one. Good thing I'm a genius. Mm, no, that's not it. You want me to use the key by dragging left. Did I just lock him in? 